Welcome back, everybody, for some more Constantine the 11th. We are just as we uh, finished off before. But let's see what, you know, about one control group of Hussars can get done against uh, Mehmet here. Mehmet. Anyway, that should be giving us a bit more time to start building up more defenses. Well, at least nothing here deals blast damage, right? It's a lot of... What are they doing? I mean, this guy has no melee armor. What is going on? Awesome. They will fight with renewed vigor. There will be a special place beside the Lord for those men who died to bring us this victory. Well, they certainly all died. That's going all right. Well, that's plenty of resources we get. Um. I feel like we could use more bombard towers. It's just kind of this vibe I'm getting. Just, you know, patrol the ocean, make sure that you don't have a ton more ships show up out of literally nowhere. Oh yeah, the huge freaking hole! What are you doing? Stop it! Oh, whoops. Need to queue up another uh, 10 billion Hussars. We might actually hit our 500 pop limit. <laughs> I didn't think we ever could, but here we are. Probably only 60 or 70 off. Wait, what? We're making hand cannons because they don't cost wood. That's the only reason. Oh yeah, condos. I forgot about you. c c, -c, -c condo condo Let's get you guys back to work over here. What the heck is going on? Whatever. If only we were Malay, man. Okay. 
Bring you guys back. Wait, are fish traps more expensive? Nope. It's just my imagination. Also, we're about to be pop capped. How many of you guys got pop capped on hard? I guess anyone who decided to fish boom as much as I did. <laughs> Which, uh, who knows how many depraved souls this is. We're at 18 on wood, so all the vills are safe. This is why we patrol, I guess. Ah, oh, the Bombard Tower finally went down. Anyway, of course, as enormous as our pop is, it's mostly really un ungreat, let's say. Uh, Byzantine Hussars. Also, for those who thought I could... Who doubted my ability to boom and build bombard towers all over the place in this scenario, I scoff at thee. Honestly, I can get all the way up to Siege Ram. I wonder if you can just, like, camp their spawn. I'm feeling wild, guys. I kind of want to just start pushing them. <laughs> Condos. Half a minute. Whoa! Come on. Keep on forgetting about this. Um, yeah, I keep on forgetting about Yeoman. I don't know if there's anything else for me to do. I mean, we're defending just fine. <laughs> Having the Archibus hand cannons behind as well, like Hussar hand cannon here is just a pretty solid army comp. Although I kind of wish the uh, 
the Genoese would be a bit more Genoeserous. Generous in giving us resources. Yeah, at least that tower is still standing. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, this I don't care about. Yeoman and then Druzhna slash Perfusion. Well, I mean, I'm still pretty limited in production for things that aren't Hussars. I mean, even then, I only have eight stables. I mean, Hera at this point have like 20. I meant to send a Hussar. Kondo. Kondo. Defeating the Turks is a bit of a pipe dream. I might not quite have the income for it. Now the issue is going to be a bit of uh, a bit of the issue is going to be gold income. Also, if I wasn't so worried about randomly losing a villager at this point in the scenario, I'd also be spamming more bombard towers. No reason for me not to if I wasn't, yeah, you know, trying to have the, the perfect 18 of 18 still alive. Well, our goal here is get back up to 500 pop. I wonder if maybe, like, I had some way Let's try and sneak in some arbs, why not? 
Like, what if there were a ton of resources over here that if you managed to siege this side and take it out, you're just like, yeah. Just get a ton of wood and gold and stone and all that stuff. I'd be down for it. Also, I don't think they've ever attacked from this direction. I guess their, their big old camp is over here, right? Oh. Where are you guys? Oh, they took down my dock over here. Yeah, the ship's just spawning in from the sides of the map is a little annoying. Not gonna lie. Um... Good source of wood. That's why we go for the wood on the outside first. At least these towers are still full up. But yeah, our arms are actually really good here. They got Pavisa and Yeoman. Got extra armor and range. And unlike Britons, you uh, have Thumbring as Byzantines. Yeah, there's even a good spot to land over here if we really wanted to drop some siege rams and hussars and just go to town. Kondo, Kondo. Oh, look at this statue. So majestic. Yeah, I mean, they still just have so many royal janissaries over here. With no survivors. Well, at least we got it back up to 500 pop, which I wanted. It's just the thing I wanted. We have our arbs and hand cannons here. Let's get this big old choke point on the bridge. And then, uh, really, really hope they don't kill us with siege monitors. <laughs> Oh, Yeoman applies to pump our towers. I didn't know that. I saw you guys spawn in out of nowhere. Don't think I didn't see that nonsense. That Balagna, if you will. I mean, just got a couple bombards over here, and it's not really doing that much. This is where the fun is. And by fun, I mean traffic jam. At least they're all grouping up here, and the bombard tower should be getting some good hits. Kind of wish I had more vil access. Yep. Oh. 
Got you. Oh wait, there's more stone. Actually, I don't even know how much we really need stone at this point because I'm not going to risk sending my bills forward at this stage. Otherwise, we'd have like eight more bombard towers over here. <laughs> Like I lost all of my hand cannons that were up here. Also, what on earth are you guys doing if not helping out? I thought they'd be pushing more this way. Also, I could garrison a bunch of units in that castle if I really wanted to. Oh, look at Theodophilos still alive. Doing Theodophilos y things. I wonder if we even will have a positive KD at the end. Because the Turks are split up into multiple factions, right? These should be the Turks that are getting spawned in. And these, I think, are the Turks that represent the, the camps and have all the static units. Although I still don't like it when they give multiple in-game players the same name and color. Like, it could have been, like, Ottoman Cavalry, Ottoman Infantry. Okay, they have uniqueness. thing repairs itself, so it'll be ready eventually. And now they're spawning demo ships from the edge of the map. Awesome. I wonder how much longer I could theoretically last. Whoa, 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 what's a villager doing over here? That. Anyway, I think this attack is about to end, and then there's going to be one more attack, and then I think that's it. They run! What? <laughs> Just spawning a bunch of units out of frickin' nowhere. Okay. Fall back. Heal up. Okay, can you not, like, spawn the bombard cannons so frickin' close to our uh, walls so they auto-aggro on us? Anyway, of course, we do need to actually replenish our losses here. It doesn't look like it. We've lost over 100 units. Okay. 
take the opportunity to get a few more Bombard Towers. I think we can manage it. If I can find some villas. Let's back everybody up over here. At least I hope that this is the last wave, because if it, if it isn't the last wave, it's going to, at least in my opinion, give the... Uh, the very strong feeling of, well, I kind of did everything there is to do, so... Like, wh what else would they want me to do? I've done all the side quests. I mean, eventually I am just going to run out of wood and lose that way, but that's thankfully not going to be for a while yet. At least a little while. All the extra arrows. As always, I'm pretty sure the solution here is more Bombard Towers. Oh, we got a Drusiana Teutonic Knight. That's pretty awesome. With HP regeneration, somehow. I guess I never really ended up needing these. It's just because we had the fish. Okay, so we have 14 vills on wood, which means we have four vills active. So we got the one vill over here, and then we got three vills over here. Not like all the healing and stuff I would like, but whatever. This should be a bit of a death trap for them. Does it say when they... Until the summer heat. Okay, so... When does summer start? I mean, in my mind, summer is June, July, August. So it would be June 1st. But I mean, if you want to go with like the technical scale, I'm pretty sure it's based off of the summer solstice start summer. Okay, then we'll send these bills back after this. Maybe one more tower, just for luck. Prepare you. At least Byzantines have treadmill crane now. Alright. Go back. You 
Go back. Oh, whoops. Forgot about making hussars constantly. I don't know how, I considering I've been doing it all game, but you know. The heathen comes again. Hold them up, men. Okay, come on. Final wave, let's go. Ah, they're actually pushing from this side for once. Interesting. All right, send you guys back into the breach. Now stuff going over here. Well, so long as you're not dead. Okay, they're they're coming back up this way. Okay, fall back. Oh, you guys definitely just spawned in SMH. Oop. Okay, now they did stop to attack from that angle, but whatever. Now is the hour to be lazy. Yeah, that's doing a lot of work. Over here, we do need to be a little bit more careful, I feel like. Okay, you guys fall back over there. <laughs> Castle's firing a bajillion arrows here. It has also 14 range. I guess there was a hole made over here somewhere. That's fine. Also, happy birthday to me. My birthday. What? 444 years before my birthday. Before I was born. Does this affect uh, the Genoese crossbowmen? Uh, it does not, but I also got them from Gaia, I think, so I don't think that counts uh, with Yeoman. Okay, uh, fall back just a little bit here. There are definitely spawned in units, but I feel like we're fine. Uh, I mean, we're like, ah, uh, this isn't the prettiest thing in the world, but whatever.
Oh, Lucos Notaris is still alive, too. No! Stop it! Alrighty. I guess we can send in another wave. I don't know. I'll send you guys in here to mop up this stuff. It's just an embarrassing look for me. Oh, yeah, see, there's not even a timer anymore, so I'm pretty sure this is it. I feel like you could use some sort of notification, like... Or it, they should tell you, okay, it ends June 1st, or, like, at least, hey... It says to run until 1st. I am literally illiterate. I am such a dum-dum. Oh, my goodness, you've all made fun of me in the comments, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Well, it's slightly more than two hours game time. Hold a bit longer, man. The Turk resolve is straining. I can feel it. But someone's gonna leave a gate open. That's actually how Constantinople fell. Somebody left a gate open. I don't think for sure exactly why or how. I think it could have been that they were fleeing and somebody just didn't have time to close the gate properly. Like they were leading a sortie. Well, I think we did it. Yay! There we go, Plebeian Preserver. The Blessed Virgin Mother has seen to our prayers, and we have won a great victory. The heathen has been pushed from our lands, and Constantinople will remain a Christian city now and for always. <laughs> In truth, the Ottoman armies overwhelmed the defenders of Constantinople. The walls that had been impregnable for centuries were battered by cannons. Hordes of Turkish soldiers climbed over the bodies of their own dead, but did not relent. Even still, a door was left open, and that was how they had entered the city. A handful of Greek and Italian soldiers bravely held the line, but were surrounded and decimated. And one of those was an ecumen As mask? The dawn broke, Constantinople was reduced to flames and ash. The golden and jeweled adornments of the Hagia Sophia, the church that had stood in regal splendor for nine centuries, were ripped from the walls. Women and children crowded in the church. They prayed for the intervention of angels with fiery swords of justice who would smite the invaders, but were instead herded and chained. A few barred the doors of the smaller churches, frantically ringing the bells as a signal to any soldier left alive or any ship at sea that innocents were within, holding fast and praying for a salvation that would not come. The Turkish soldiers, greedy for plunder, battered and broke the walls. In a few hours, a thousand years of Constantinople, the last moments of the Roman Empire disappeared in flames and smoke as the final church bells tolled their last. Sad times. Unless you were an Ottoman. Then there was, it was happy time, happy time. Okay, uh, I was a little worried <laughs> Arcady wasn't going to be good enough. Also, no, it looks like maybe the Ottomans spawning in were just this one player. <laughs> Arcady was fine, guys. Arcady was fine.
I wonder, maybe the naval ottomans were a separate player? Like, this is the one who was spawning most of the land units. This is clearly the one that had all of their starting units, and I don't know what this ottoman player did. How'd they have 11 gold collected? Maybe they, like, converted a Keshik or something. <laughs> 91 Vilhai. Well, guys... Yeah, I mean, like, even if you really spend all the resources trying to bulldoze this area, I mean, other than some trees, it's not going to give you anything. I really could have landed over here, though. And gotten some more wood income that way, like, if I really, really needed to. But that was a little unnecessary. Here's the big camp. And, you know, he kept Constantinople mostly afloat. Alright, guys, that was Constantine the 11th. Next up... We're going to have our final three scenarios, two of which are going to be Japan. See you guys next time for Shimazu.